Hey guys, my name is Larissa Papenmeier, 32 years old from Germany. Uh, we just arrived here in Gotland Grand National. Um, it's my first time here uh, this year. Uh, I had one enduro race before, so it's my second time enduro. Uh, really excited for that, um, looking forward to it. I'm riding actually the Women's World Championship and German Championship. Um, finished second in the world 2009. A couple of times I finished third. Um, also this year, still fighting for the title, so it's still my dream and my goal to become world champion. I'm not giving up on that and for sure gonna try next year again. But yeah, now my focus is to race here, to do good here and to have some fun. And yeah, just check the track already. It looks pretty good and yeah, definitely something new for me. I mean, I'm riding motocross since I'm five years old and um, yeah, haven't done this before, but looking forward to Saturday. Gotland is an island in the Baltic Sea between Sweden and Finland and uh, it's a really historic island all the way back from the Viking Age uh, until now and it's a really island for people who visit in the summer but for the Gotland Grand National we see around 10,000 people coming to the island just for the race. Gotland Grand National was starting in 1984 it's huge popular in Scandinavia. I believe it's because of the island. It's a special race. Uh, a lot of people come here, take some day holiday, uh, do the race, have a nice time with all the families and everything who come here. It's go live on Swedish television every year. That's really, really good for, for the whole organization and sponsors and everything. This year is the 39th year in a row uh, they, they have the Gotland Grand National. This year it's 3,300 riders. That's the uh, most riders ever. So it's really impressive in, uh, after the pandemic. Uh, this year we have riders from 15 countries. That's also a new record. We have also the highest prize money ever with 5,000 euro in the first prize for both ladies and the men. Yeah, this is my World Championship bike. I mean, I raced it the last race this year at the World Championship, uh, but we made some small changes for this weekend. Um, like I got a softer suspension, um, which made it a bit easier for the small bumps all around the corners. And for sure I got a bigger tank so I can ride a bit longer and yeah that's actually about it I got moose in the back wheel and front wheel so I can't get a flat tire let's see how it's gonna work out yeah how did I prepare for this race um, I tried to do one enduro race in Germany like a week ago uh, it was also about three hours so we could like manage some stuff how long can I ride with the feel or how do I feel physically um, yeah, it was really good training and for sure something good mentally to do something like that before. Uh, for the rest, actually, I, I didn't prepare so much. I mean, it's it's so long the track, you can't like really prepare for it. I mean, you can look at the track and yeah, just for me, it counts to have some fun. Yeah, for sure it's coming like hard race, three hour and uh, many, many good riders and uh, slippery stones and like that. But uh, I've been here before and I know quite much the track, track and uh, I'm looking forward. I think this is most important thing. Be fast and uh, not make mistakes. So yeah, not, not the win yet, but uh, I, I've been second. So of course my goal is now try to try to win the race. And, I, I raced this uh, first time I raced here was in 1997. So I've been, yeah, been here for for many years. And and one time it's snowing, next time it's raining, it's windy, it's dry, it's it's, it's every time different. But uh, for me, I think the toughest conditions is when uh, when it's dry, when it's going fast, because you have to basically ride like a motocross race for for three hours, and 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 it hurts your body like hell. So uh, I think this is the, is the toughest uh, GGN when, when, when it's dry. Instead of doing a short special test, full gas, full gas, here uh, you need to conserve your energy for the three hours and for sure to be on the bike without to do mistakes for such a long time, it's, uh, it's difficult. 
and so you need to keep uh, you keep uh, your head straight let's say and uh, about the bike you set it up a little bit differently but to be honest not so much uh, from what what we are used to I mean we want to keep it as same as as we normally have it during the year I hope to be a good race uh, the weather seems to be good for this this year it will not be too wet like it is now so it will be a good racing and I hope to be we're doing good and I feel prepared. I've been here for training and testing, so I feel ready for, uh, for this year's Scotland. I think that it's better and better. We have a lot of riders and a lot of upcoming riders and also we have a lot of motocross ladies that's trying enduro, which is super fun and uh, it gives it a lot more competition. So yeah, um, they should just come. It's not harder than that. Just try it. A lot of girls are maybe afraid that it's too hard or something like that, but I think just try, dare to try and you will like it and it will be super fun. Uh, so we are girls who ride both motocross and enduro. This year we have over 100 girls all over Norway in this team. And now I'm here at Gotland with uh, seven girls where we fulfill some girls' dream. And their dream is to come to Gotland to uh, drive this huge race um, and feel the mastery of the race and have fun with the other girls. FXR have been like a quite big sponsor for the race now for five years. We do a lot with the girls and we see that girls is important for she grow a lot and uh, this year I think it's 210 girls make the entry and that's like a new record and it's amazing and uh, we also sponsor dirt bike girls they are 110 girls and uh, a lot of them are here for the race uh, we we give them and they have like new gear helmets goggles we try to support them as most, much as we can i think it's going to be a good experience for them I just tested my bike on this track here. Um, it's just a test track, but it felt pretty good already. Um, felt good with my suspension. For sure, the stones are a bit different to turn, but yeah, it was a lot of fun and I'm looking forward for the race. Just before this testing, I walked the track already and it's not as bad as I thought. For sure, there's like some stones, some big stones, um, yeah, some water on the track, but yeah, it was still everything possible. So you can go next to the water or like even go over the stones. So I have a good feeling and yeah, I, I don't think it's so bad like I thought. Awesome feeling to finally get the win again here at Gotland Grand National and uh, my start was not so good at the race but uh, I was just trying to get my groove and uh, find my groove and find my rhythm and uh, just get the lines and everything but uh, worked my way up uh, and was uh, in the middle of the race I was in the lead 
and was able to extend it all the way to the finish and uh, and I have a, such a great race. The race uh, was feeling good. I had um, an okay start. On the se second lap I had a crash and I was stuck under my bike for some minutes. And then I had two more crashes, but in the end I won, so I'm happy about that. It was a tough day, um, for sure a tough race and different. Uh, I was leading quite the whole race, uh, didn't feel that good, crashed pretty hard in the second lap. Um, but yeah, tried to stay focused and made my way. Uh, unfortunately lost like a lot of time in the last lap, uh, even crashed again and hit a tree. So <laughs> was not really my day, I mean for the first enduro race it's okay. I finished fourth now, which I wasn't, there. I'm not happy with that. But like I said, it's my second enduro race, so you cannot expect anything. And I didn't expect anything, so it was uh, a new day and for sure something different. If I'm going to do it again, I don't know yet, but uh, we will see. <laughs>